Yeah, now it's recording. Perfect. So we discussed like different ways to compute the average, right? So first we had the, the mode, uh, then we had the median, uh, and then we had the, the mean, and then the trim mean. And so now, so we're gonna discuss uh, the weighted average, uh, so five, the weighted average. So we said the, the idea here, guys, in the weighted average is that uh, some, some data values, uh, they have like more importance than others, okay? And um, so each data value has like a corresponding weight, okay? And uh, so I have this example, uh, you know, where we compute like the, the, the course grade. Uh, so just to remind you very quickly of the example, uh, so we have the student, uh, so the, the, the grading, grading, the grading system was like, um, 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 so we have like homeworks, um, so we have homeworks, uh, the homeworks we said, I think they're worth uh, 30%, um, and then uh, we have a midterm. Right, and the midterm is worth uh, 35%. And there is a final, and we said the final, it's worth 35%, right? So as you can see from the, 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 the percentages here, guys, uh, the midterm and the final, they are more important than the homework, right? Uh, so they are given more importance than the homework. Um, and so this percentage uh, uh, corresponding to each uh, test is called the weight. So this is like the 30%, that's, uh, that's what I call the weight of the homeworks. So that's the 30%, that's the weight of the homeworks, okay? The midterm, the weight of the midterm is actually 35%. Uh, so the 35%, that's the weight of the midterm. Okay, and then finally the final, the weight of the final, it's 35%. So the weight of the midterm and the final uh, is higher than the weight of the homework. Okay, so in other words, as I said, so the midterm and the final, they are more important than the homework, okay? So again, keep in mind the percentages here are called the weights, okay? The 30% of the weight of homework, uh, et cetera. All right, so now we have a student and we suppose that the student I think got, um, so uh, uh, a student, uh, let's say a student got like 85% uh, uh, um, on the final, 85% uh, on the final. So the 85% here, that's the, the score, right? The, 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 the student score on the final, okay? Uh, so that's the, that's the student final uh, score, okay? So that's our, that's like our uh, data value, okay? So in the final, uh, the, the student got 85%. Uh, let's say in the midterm, he got, uh, he's a very good student. He got 90% 90, uh, 90 on the midterm, let's say 90% on um, midterm, okay, so that's, um, so the 90% here, that's the, the midterm, that's a, the midterm score, right? Term score, and then uh, let's say he got, he has a perfect homework, and so he got 100% on the, on the homeworks. So 100% on the homeworks. Okay. 
So, um, yeah, so I have my weights, right? This is my weights. Okay. Uh, and here I have my, uh, the student, the, the student scores, right? The scores here. And so the scores actually uh, correspond to the, uh, the data values. That's my data values. Okay. So to each, uh, so uh, each uh, data value corresponds to, or each uh, weight corresponds to uh, a data value, right? So for example, the 30% uh, in the homework corresponds to the score 80, uh, the 100%, right? Uh, the thirty-five percent—that's the weight of the midterm—and uh, the corresponding score is ninety percent. Okay. Um, so, how do we compute the weighted average? So then, the formula is actually the following. So, the formula of the weighted average. Weighted average. Um, so the weighted average would be equal to So what I'm going to do guys, we're going to uh, multiply each score by the corresponding weight. Okay, so it's the score. That's, the, that's my data value. And I'm, I, I uh, remember guys, I actually, we actually denote the data values by x, the variable x. So it's actually x times x times w, where w is the corresponding weight to x. So we're going to have, of course, a sum over, and then we're going to divide by the sum of the weights. So here, the w, so where w is, where w is the weight corresponding to the data value x. the data value x, okay? So, so yeah, so this is the formula for the weighted average. Um, so in this example, the weighted average would be the, the course uh, grade of, my, uh, of, the, of the student, right? So, so in our example, so in our example, so this weighted average, right? Right. That's the weighted average would be exactly the course. Uh, that's the course grade, grade. So that would be equal to. So what does it say in the formula? So we have x, the data value, times the the w, right? The weight. So X again, it's just the data value. So that's like the, the score of the student. So for example, uh, on the homework, the score of the student, the homework. So the student got like 100% on the homework, right? So 100% of the homework, that's the, the data value. So 100%, that's the, the score of the student on the homework and the corresponding weight. So what's the corresponding weight? Well, the weight of the homework, the homeworks are worth 30%, right? So the weight of the homeworks is actually 30%. So the corresponding weight to the score to the 100 uh, is uh, 30, 30%, right? Because the 100, that's, the, that's the, what the, the student got on the homework, right? And the homework are worth 30%. So we, we need to multiply the 100% by, multiplied by, uh, uh, thirty percent. That's the the weight, the corresponding weight of the the weight of the homeworks, right? Plus, right? Because we have this uh, summation, right? This is a uh, remember, guys. We said this uh, uh, capital sigma. This is a um, this is a symbol for summation, right? We have a sum. Okay. So we're gonna have a plus. Now next, the score. Uh, next to score, let's say it's uh, the midterm. Okay, so the student got 90%, 90% on the midterm, right? So my next data value is 
So plus 90% times, and then we need to multiply by the corresponding weight. So what's the weight of the midterm? Uh, well, the midterm is worth 35%. So we multiply the 90% by 35%. Okay, plus 35%. Plus, and then the, the final uh, test, or I mean, the final test is, uh, of course, the, there's the final. So the student got uh, 85 uh, on the final, right? So that's my next data value. So the student scored 85 on the final. So 85% on the final times the corresponding weight, right? So you have your X, your data value times the corresponding weight, corresponding weight to the 85. So the 85, that's the score in the final and the final are worth 35%. So we're gonna multiply 85 by 35%. Over, and then we are, we are supposed to divide by, so I, as you can see here in the, you know, in the denominator, it's the sum, right? This capital sigma. So we have the sum of the Ws, right? Ws are the, the weights. So we need to sum, um, take the sum of the weights, right? So the weight of the homeworks is uh, 30%, right? So the homeworks are worth 30%. That's the weight of the homeworks. Plus the weight of the midterm is 35%. So plus 35%. Plus, then there's the weight of the final. Final is worth 35%, so plus 35%, right? So this is, this is just the sum of the weights. So the sum of the weights. So again, guys, the weight is just how much it's worth the uh, the, you know, the, the homework or the midterm or wherever, right? That's the, your, the, the weight. And obviously you don't do it separate. You find, you, you compute that, find the, the answer to that. And then you divide that, um, the answer from the top, you divide it with the computation you get on the bottom. Yeah, you can- you don't do it separately. I mean, uh... Well, you can do it separately if you want. I mean, you can do like you can you can you can compute the top, you know, the uh, compute the top. Right. You can compute the bottom and then divide. And, and, yeah, and, and, and that's yeah. what I mean. Yeah, okay. that's exactly what you we are supposed to do. Actually, uh, we are supposed to compute the top. Um, yeah, that's a good point. So, uh, yeah, and um, and that's actually my advice for you guys. Uh, like in this kind of computations, when we have like a fraction. Uh, so finish the top, do the, the bottom, and then uh, divide. So like, uh, like here, so I, would, so I would do this computations like in two steps. So yeah, so I would um, first, so like let's say step one. So first I would compute the top. I know this is kind of confusing. You know, we have a lot of, uh, um, Terms, a lot of a uh, lot, lot of uh, numbers here. So yeah, it's better to compute the top, okay, as as a first step. So that would be like the one hundred percent times the thirty percent plus ninety percent times the thirty five percent, and then plus eighty five percent times the thirty five percent. All right, now for the percent, guys, uh, don't be scared of the percent. I mean, percentage. Percent means division by 100, okay? It's just division by 100. Now, uh, of course, you can use your calculator. Uh, I mean, like, uh, for example, this 100%, that's like 100 over 100, right? So all I'm saying here is, so this is like, this is like, oops. Um, so this is like 100 over 100, right? The the thirty percent. This is like thirty over one hundred. Okay, uh, ninety percent. It's ninety over one hundred, etc. So the percent it means division by one hundred. Okay, uh, all you have to do is to divide by one hundred. Oops. 
So, um, yeah, so this would be equal to, so if you divide, for example, 100 by 100, 100 by 100, you're gonna get one times 30 over 100. Again, you can just use your calculator. You don't have to think about it, guys. I mean, 30 over 100, it's 0 0.30. Uh, 90, 90 over 100, it's 0 0.90 or 0 0.9, uh, et cetera. 35 over 100, that's 0 0.35 plus 0 0.85 times 0 0.35, okay? So again, guys, just keep in mind, you have this percentage, it means it's just a division by 100. So, Again, if you have like 35%, that's like 35 over 100, okay? All right, now, here, uh, in the, um, we have, uh, as you can see, we have a uh, multiplication and addition, right? So don't forget, of course, your PEMDAS rule. Uh, multiplication first, and then addition, right? In the PEMDAS rule, uh, you see here, there's a multiplication and there's addition, right? So, um, so we are supposed to multiply first and then add, right? So for example, here, I would multiply the one by uh, 0 0.30. So that's, a, it's just a, a 0 0.30 plus, and then we would multiply 0 point, uh, you know, 0 0.9, uh, 0 0.9 by, you know, 0 0.30. Uh, uh, 35, right? So that'll be equal to actually, uh, let's see. Yeah, so that's actually 0 0.315 plus, and then you have 0 0.85, right? Times the 0 0.35. So times 0 0.35, and that'll be equal to, uh, I think 0 0.2975, right? Now, once you are done with the multiplication, now you can add the numbers, right? So uh, that'll be equal to, um, I think, uh, where is it? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's zero point, yeah, it's zero, 0 0.9125. Uh, okay. Any question, guys, about this uh, uh, operation here at the top? How I how I computed the top? All right. Once you're done with the top, um, then we can move to the denominator, the the bottom. Step two. Let's compute the the bottom uh, denominator. All right, so what's at the bottom? It's just 30% uh, plus 35% plus 35%. And as I said, the percent is just division by 100. So 30 over 100, that's 0 0.30. Plus 35 over 100, 0.35. 35 over 100, 0.35. Here, I have just addition, right? There is no multiplication, so it's just 0 plus, uh, 0 0.3 plus 0 0.35 plus 0 0.35. And actually that's, this is exactly 1.00, which is, you know, uh, it's just one. Okay, now once you, you got your, the, the answer to the top and the bottom, then uh, step three, then you can, um, then we can divide. So then we divide. We divide. And so the answer, all right, so then the answer, um, so the weighted average or the, the course grade, okay, I'm gonna just, uh, so the weighted average, which is, again, is the same as the course uh, grade, courses grade. Uh, so the top turns out to be 0 0.9125 over one, so the answer is 0 0.9125. Okay.
Uh, any question, guys? So on the top, you're doing a you're doing division for step one. You're doing a hundred over one hundred, thirty yeah. percent mm -hmm. over a hundred, yeah. right? Yes. Then for the um underneath it, you're doing one times zero point thirty. Uh, 30. And then, right. And then after that, are you doing just addition or that's? Yep. yep. Then addition, yeah. So one times 0 0.30. Uh, and then uh, you have 0 0.90 times 0 0.35. And then you have 0 0.85 times 0 0.30, 0 0.35, right? And then, yeah, after that, the next line is just addition, yes. So here. And it's that, like that every time? Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah, that's how it works. Yeah, so okay. you do the you do the, you do the multiplication here, here and here, right? You multiply uh, your terms here, and then uh, so that's how I got these numbers. All right. So then the next, uh, I mean, the next step here is just addition. That's how I got the. Oh, so it's division, multiplication. Yes, and addition. Oh, okay, in addition. Okay, it's a lot. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's a pen with, 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 with your, excuse me, Yanin. I said it's the PANDAS rules, like, oh, I like PANDAS rule. Yeah, uh, parentheses. So yeah, exponent. If you follow that, then you get to this formula, yeah. and then it should be okay. Yeah, if you follow the PANDAS rule, yeah. So parentheses, then, then you have exponent, multiplication division, and of course, addition uh, subtraction. Um, all right, so you know what, guys? We can probably practice it a bit because I know this formula is kind of, uh, I mean, um, there are a lot of operations, right? Um, so we're gonna do an exercise from the textbook. Um, so let's do an exercise from the textbook, all right? So this is actually exercise, um, it's exercise 26, page uh, 103. Page one zero three. Okay, so what does it say? This exercise. Uh, so it's in the in the textbook. Right? This is in the textbook. All right. I mean, if you have the textbook, that's that's that would be great. But uh, it's not. Uh, anyway, I'm going to give you the numbers here. So the the, the exercise says says the following. So in your biology class, so it says like in your biology class. Class, uh, your final grade is based on several things: uh, lab score, uh, etc. Um, so we have a, uh, so we have the grading, uh, following grading policy. So we have a, uh, uh, there's a lab uh, score that's worth uh, uh, worth twenty five percent. Um, and then uh, there is two major tests. So we have like two tests. Each test is worth 22.5%. So there's like first test, it's worth, uh, first test is it's worth 22.5%. Uh, uh, second test is same, worth, uh, it's worth 22.5%. Uh, and then there is a, a final, it says that there's a final, a final exam is worth uh, 30%. So final is worth uh, 30%. All right. Now the student, uh, so we need to complete the weighted average for the following scores. So the student got Ninety-two uh, on the on the lab, so ninety-two percent on the lab, uh, and then he got eighty-one on the first test, eighty-one percent on the first test, and then he got uh, eighty-one uh, ninety-three percent on the second test, which is good, I guess. And then uh, the final, we got 
85 on the final. All right. So please try uh, try to compute the, the weighted average or the, the course uh, rate of this uh, student. Okay. So please compute or find compute the course grade of this uh, the weighted average. of this uh, student. Um, I'm gonna give you the answer guys, so you can check if you, if you get the right answer. So the answer uh, is supposed to be equal to, so the answer uh, is supposed to be equal to, so this weighted average, it should be equal to uh, 0. 80, 80 uh, so eight, seven, six, five. Okay. So I'm gonna give you five, let's say five, 10 minutes um, to compute this uh, weighted average. And as I said, so the, the answer is supposed to be a zero, the 0. 0.8765, uh, okay. Um, so, you know, if you don't get the 8765, then uh, it means you made a mistake somewhere, All right? Give you five minutes, guys, to try. Compute this uh, weighted average. Don't forget the percentage. Uh, percent that's it means uh, the percent means the division by one hundred. All right. Um, so if you have a trouble to get this, uh, the, the, the answer, um, you know, the, the 0.8765, please let me know because, so probably you're gonna have a similar problem in the test uh, about the weighted average. So you need to make sure how to compute those this weighted average, okay? Um, uh, I mean, I can help with the, I don't know uh, if you, uh, if you have you problems. can go over with me yeah yeah I, yeah i can do that but i'm gonna give you a couple of minutes to do it by yourself first okay all right Um, is it okay to ask the question now? Yeah, oh yeah, please. Or after? No, no, uh, please okay. go ahead. So, okay, I know step one is the top part, right? We have to compute yep. the top. Mm -hmm. So my question is, the top is considered the lab score test one, test two. The bottom part would be what the student got, right? No, the bottom, that's the, 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 the weights. So the, the top. So how do I know what's top or what's bottom? Okay. Uh, yes. You see here. In, in, the, in regards to this thing, this. Yeah, this weighted average. So you see, uh, the the formula is supposed to be this one. Um, oops. All right. Uh, let me. Okay. Let me write again the formula. So the the formula in general for the weighted average. Uh, so it's supposed to be uh, supposed to be this a sum of x times w, right, over sum of the w. So the w are supposed to be the weights. Now, 
there is a difference between, so the, here, the, you see the 92%, et cetera, this is the, the scores, right? That's not the weight. The weight is uh, what's the, the, the test or the, the, the final is worth. So that's what I call the weight. Okay, so these numbers here, these percentages are the weights. Because it's like saying, it's like saying- So, but, final, okay, the, 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 okay, the weights in the, in the biology class, that's the top we have to compute? Um, not just the, 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 so the top, you see, uh, it says here, the top, it says X times W. So what's X and what's W? So the, so the W is supposed to be the weight and the X is supposed to be your data value. But here, data value, it's actually the, the score. So it's, so it, you have the score, like the score in the test times the, the weight of the test. So that would be the top. So you take, for, for example, uh, uh, you take the, the lab score, which is uh, 92%, right? The, the lab score is 92% times the, the weight. So the lab is worth, the lab score is worth 25%. So you need to multiply the 92 by the 25 plus, et cetera. So again, the top, in the top, you're supposed to multiply the score by the corresponding weight, okay? In the denominator, you have the sum, just of the sum of the weights. Um, I see some questions in the chat. Uh, Kayla, you're saying you're lost with the whole formula? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's why we are doing exercises, uh, of course. Uh, I mean, um, you said we have to do what with the top? We have to multiply it by the bottom? No, 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 no. So, so okay. It's so, the right. Sum, the E thingy is the sum, right? And the W is the weight. Yes. So what I'm saying, the top, the top is always the top. It's the X times the W. So the, the okay. score, the score times the weight. Of course, you don't you don't have the only one score. You have your your you have your lab score. You have your the score in the test. You have your score in the final, etc. Right. So oh, hold on, Professor. So all yes. because I'm trying to remember it. So the scores. I'm going to multiply all the scores individually? Yes. So each score, you're going to multiply each score by the corresponding weight. By the corresponding weight. Weight. So like right. you have your lab score, mm -hmm. then it's multiplied by how much the lab score is worth, right? The, the weight of the lab score. All right. So is it 81? So the first wait, the... Um, no. Um, the student got a 92 on the left, right? Yeah. yeah. So that's 92 mo um, times. Yes. How much was it worth? Worth the 25. The first, uh, so the, the lap score, uh, the lap score is worth 25%. Okay. Um, so, so I'm doing 81 times 25? No, it's 92. Percent. Oh, so sorry, he got sorry. he got ninety two on the ninety two percent on the lap. So ninety two times twenty five. Yes, ninety two percent times twenty five percent. Okay, and then eighty one percent plus. Time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, are we doing plus? Yes, we are we're doing plus because this thing here, this is uh, the summation. This is uh, so this denotes the sum. So you, you need to do the plus. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna set my page up. So that would be the top, uh, Edward. Now, the, 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 the bottom, the denominator, is supposed to be the sum uh, of the weights. So you take the, the, the weight of, the, uh, of the, the lab score plus the weight of the first test plus the weight of the second test plus the weight of the, the, the final. And I, again, when I say the weight, I mean how much is worth the you know, the test or the final or the lab score. So the bottom, I add up everything I got from the top. 
right? Yes. Uh, no, no, I mean, the, the, the denominator, no, it's the, it's the sum of the weights. So there'll be uh, the 25% plus the 22.5% plus the 22.5 plus the 30, uh, 30%. All right, so I wrote, I add up everything I get from the sum of the weight for the bottom. Yes. yes. All right, yeah. let me write that. Mm -hmm. Professor, would it be a problem if I only get, because uh, I, what I did to make it easier for me, I, I turn it into decimal, so that way when I compute, it's easier. Yeah. Um, if I got um, 0.876 and not the five, would that that's be fine. a problem? No, no, okay. that's fine. That's fine. Uh, that's fine. Um, just again, you said you got the same answer. Okay, that's that's perfect. Mm -hmm. um, the first step is to divide everything, right? Yes. Then last step, you divide everything. Yes. No, that's the first step. Right? Oh, the first step. Uh, the first step is to multiply or divide. No, the first step, it's actually you multiply and you add, right? You have multiplication. But I thought you said to divide divide everything by one hundred. Oh, oh, okay. The, they mean the that percentage. the percentage. Oh, you're talking about the percentage. Yes, you need to divide each number by the percentage. So you do want to divide and then multiply. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Yes, I forgot about the the percent. Yes, you're right. You need to divide. That's like, what. I, that's how I'm writing this. I'm writing twenty five divided by one, twenty two point yes. five divided by one, doing it like that because. Yeah. I don't no, know. Man. I don't know. This is so confusing. You know, no, no, so the, the percent. The percent means division by one hundred. Yes. So the percent is division and multiplying by a hundred. No percent, just division by hundred. One hundred. So it's not multiplying by a hundred. No, 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 no. That's no, what no. I've been doing. So, so it's is So anytime you see the um ninety percent is divide by a hundred. Yeah, so that's exactly what I'm like. You see here what I'm saying? The percent, it's it means division by one hundred. No, I understand, but you've been you keep saying multiply by a hundred. That's why even yesterday, because that's how I was doing it. I was multiplying the percentage by a hundred, not dividing. So now you're saying it's divide. No, I'm, I'm, I, well, I, I, didn't, I didn't say, I don't know, I didn't say, uh, I, probably you, you uh, misunderstood me, but um, I, uh, I mean, I never, I don't think I said the percentage, I mean, percent would be uh, multiplying by the percentage is every, you said when you have so, a percentage is to multiply by a hundred. No, I said, I. It was breaking I, down the percentage, how to, how to make a percentage, basically a decimal. So he's saying. Uh -huh that 30 percent it's breaking it down like it's taking out it's 30 is out of 100 so that's why he did the three the number 30 on top the division sign and 100 on the bottom it's not necessarily making a division it's basically 30 would be point um point um point three zero becomes 30 percent of the number of the number um that's in front. I wish you could see my notebook because yeah, it, it, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean that yeah, part. I, mean, I have a it's question. Very confusing. Uh, so thirty divided by a hundred is zero point three. Yes. So, so point. Yeah, uh -huh, no, no, no. Uh -huh. So 30, 30, 30 percent. You see, this is what I call percent, right? So yeah. thirty percent. That's uh, thirty divided by one hundred. So right. that. That's zero point three zero. That becomes that. So yeah. then, let's say this point thirty that he just did. You do that with the. You do the same concept with the ninety two on the top. Ninety two percent becomes point ninety two. So those two number you multiply. The uh point thirty times right. point ninety two. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. why yeah. the yeah. that yeah. one is there. I'm um, Yanni. Yeah, I got it. It's just the fact I was multiplying. Because even now you you saying to me and I, I do the division, Professor, mm -hmm. I'm getting the 0 0.92. But that maybe it was my mistake. I'm going to have to go no, back. No, no, I'm not saying you're a mistake. I mean, you probably you're just missing this. I think I'm going to check my recorded, Professor. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> um, yeah. but then if you have like 30% uh, times 92%, 
so for example, let's say you, you need to multiply 30% by the 92%. Uh, so this would be like a 0 0.30 times multiplied by 0 0.92, for example. Yeah, and that's right. That, that's what, I, uh, what I'm saying. Oh, Professor. Yes, uh, yes, please. I'm getting really frustrated because it's like I'm looking at a whole bunch of numbers and I don't know where to get them from. I don't even know how I have 92 times 81. Like that's the, those are the last, that's what the student got. Uh, I'm probably yes. gonna have to watch the video over again. I don't know. Okay, so, okay, uh, you know what? So let me go over this. Um, okay. Let's do this. Because I must not have it organized the right way because okay. the way I was saying it, it sounded like it makes sense. But then when I'm trying to, you know, move on from the first one we did together, mm -hmm. I can't even do it. Okay. Let, let's do it. Okay. Let's do it again, but step by step. All right. All right. Uh, so as a first step, you're supposed to compute uh, sum of the X uh, times W. So that will be the X, that's the, the score, and then the score in the final, or score of the test or whatever. W, that's the corresponding weight. So let's start with the first uh, test or first whatever. So first thing, first score is, so the student got 92% uh, on the lab, right? So that's 92%, uh, that's his score on the lab. So we take the 92%, right? That's the score on the lab. And then we need to multiply this by the corresponding weight. So what's the weight corresponding to 92? This is the score in the lab. So then the, the lab is worth, we said that the lab, this, the lab score is worth 25%. So we need to multiply this 92% by the 25%. So we we'll multiply here by 25%. Does this make sense to you first before moving to the next? Uh, you see why I'm multiplying the 92 by the 25? So the 92%, that's his score on the lab. And the lab score is worth 25%. Okay. Okay. Now, this, that's a lab score. Now, next, the score is the, the score in the first test. So on the first test, he got 81%. So that's his score on the first test. So plus 81%, that's uh, the student score on the test, times what's worth the, the first test? Well, the first test is worth 22.5%. So we need to multiply this 81% by the by 22.5%, because the first test is worth 22.5%. Plus, so we have a plus because of this summation, right? This is a capital sigma, it means the sum, okay? Plus, next score. So he, he got 90, uh, 93% on the second test, right? 93% on the second test. So that's plus uh, 93% times, and then we need to multiply by the corresponding weight. So the weight of the second test, uh, so the second test is worth 22.5%. So we need to multiply this 93% by the 22%. 22.5, sorry, percent. Plus, and then the final, the, the last score is, a, the, uh, it's a score in the final. So he got 85 on the final, 85%. Uh, so plus 85% times the weight of the final. Uh, the final is worth 30%. So we need to multiply the 85 by the 30%. So multiply by the 30%. Okay. Okay, now I understand perfect. that whole part. No, no, it makes sense, more sense? Absolutely. Okay, perfect. Now, as Edward uh, said, now we need, you know, convert this percent like uh, percentages to uh, decimals. So like you take the 92%, so the percent means division by 100. So we need to multiply the 92% by one, uh, sorry, 92 by 100. So 92 by 100, that's the 0 0.92. So 92 divided by 100. 
Yes, divided okay. divide by 100, that's 0 0.92. 25 divided by 100, that's 0 0.25, right? Uh, et cetera. So 81 by, by 100, that's uh, 0 0.81 times 22.5 divided by 100, that's 0 0.225 plus, this is a 93. So that's 0 0.93 times uh, 0 0.225 plus 85. So that's 0 0.85 times 30%, 330 over 100. That's 0 0.30. All right. So I got, so I divide by 100. And okay, now I have my decimals. All right. So now next step is to multiply. Time does rule. You multiply first. So we need to multiply like um, you know, we need to multiply this 0 0.92 by the 0 0.25. Then you multiply this 0 0.81 by the 0 0.225, uh, etc. Right? So, for example, um, this uh, 0. Point, let me just uh, see my uh, how. So, this is 0. Point, uh, let's see. So the 0 0.92, for example, times the 0 0.25, that'll be equal to, if I'm correct, that'll be 0 0.23, okay? So again, I got this 0 0.23 from this, from the multiplication of 0 0.92 by 0 0.25, all right? Now, next, you have 0 0.81. Well, you said, why, well, hold on, you did, you got 0 0.23 by how? Yeah, that's uh, 0 0.92 by the 0 0.25. You said divided or times? No, no, times. Uh, I mean, okay, okay. right? This, this is times, yeah. Uh, the next is 0 0.81 times uh, 0 0.225, right? And that will be equal to uh, like, this is like, um, uh, 0 0.18225, right? Yeah. Or 182, okay? Etc. So, oops, sorry. All right. So, yeah, okay, let's just finish this thing here. Um, you can finish it. Um, so, plus, and then we got this uh, 93 now, 0. Uh, 0 0.93 times uh, this uh, 0 0.225. So that'll be equal to 0. Point, so this is uh, 0 0.20925, All right? Plus, and then the 0 0.85, Right, 0 0.85 uh, times 0 0.30. So that'll be equal to actually 0 0.255. So this is 0. Point, oops, 0 0.255. Right. Now I got, now uh, I'm going to do the sum. So we have uh, four decimals, right? I have the 0 0.23 plus. 0 0.18225, etc., plus 0 0.20925, uh, plus 0 0.255, right? So we're going to add now. So if you add, then you're going to get, I think, uh, where is it? Uh, yes. So then the answer would be 0 0.8, I think, uh, 8.765. Okay. So that's the first step. It's the, 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 the scores times the, the corresponding weights. Any question, guys? That's the, the top. So the top is always the score times the, the corresponding weight. Now, step two. Can I see the last number, 0201? Uh, last number, uh, the zero point. The two yeah, five five. Yeah. You got a different answer. 
no, no. Oh, okay. You want to see it? Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. So yeah, last number is zero point two five five. Okay. All right. Now, a last step. Uh, sorry, step two. So this is uh, the denominator. So the bottom is supposed to be. So the the this x times the 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 the, the score times the weights. That's the top. That's always the top. Now the denominator. That's always the sum of the weights. Just take the sum of the weights. How this? So the this is equal to the weight of the lab score. Lab score is uh, worth twenty five percent plus, right? Because we have a summation, right? Uh, the score, the the weight. Sorry, the weight of the first test. That's the twenty two point five percent. The weight of the second test. It's also twenty two point five plus the weight of the, the final, which is, uh, I think, 25%. Is it 20? No, sorry, 30, 30%. The weight of the final is actually 30%. So the final is worth 30%. All right, so we, we can, the percent, as I said, the percent means division by 100, right? This division by 100. So it's like 25 over 100. 0 0.25 plus 22.5 over 100, that's 0 0.225 plus 22.5 over 100, that's 0 0.225, and then 30 over 100, that's 0 0.3. Okay, now uh, I'm gonna add, we have four numbers, right? So just addition here. Uh, and uh, I claim that the, the sum here would be 1.25. Uh, zero, zero, which is exactly one. Again, this is uh, very similar to the example we had uh, earlier. So, okay, I got the bottom. Now the final step. So the weighted average, now I can, uh, can divide the, the top by the bottom. So the weighted, the answer, weighted average, It's the sum of X times W, the score times the weight over the sum of the weights. So this is what I got in the first step. Uh, this is my step two. All right, so then this is 0 0.8765 over one. And so, yes, yeah, so the answer is uh, 0 0.8765. The, the, the bottom guys, the denominator, it doesn't have to be uh, one, right? I mean, it's just like in these examples, the, the bottom, the denominator turns out to be always equal to one, but uh, it depends on the problem, okay? I mean, it's not always one. It doesn't have to be one, okay? It depends on the problem. If you pick a different exercise in the textbook, uh, probably the, the sum of the weights, the denominator, is gonna be a number different from one, okay? So it depends on the problem. Right. Um, any question, guys? Uh, Edward, does it make sense to you now? Better. I just need to. Yeah. Well, I just need a little more practice. Yeah. 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 When, when is the first exam? Oh yeah, yeah. Of course. Uh, for sure. I mean, no. it, like, yeah, you're gonna have a problem about this weighted average for sure. Right? Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be in the test for sure. Yeah. When is um, that uh, first exam? Yeah. Oh, when? Um, uh, probably the second or the third week of uh, March. Uh, I will let you know as soon as possible, right? Uh, okay. Probably next week I will let you know. Um, I need to have to practice. <laughs> yeah, but, you, you know, uh, you have an exercise, like similar problem in the homework. Uh, just make sure that you know how to answer the problem in the homework. So it's going to be kind of a similar problem. All right, guys. Uh, I, so if you, have, you don't have any questions, we can move to the next section. And I have really kind of bad news because next section is going to be computations are going to be more, uh, more how to say that, like more complicated, okay, in some sense. Um, so yeah, so in the next section, we're going to talk about um, the variance and the uh, standard deviation, okay? So 
uh, this is uh, section uh, 3.2. Uh, so it's, uh, it's about measures. So we're gonna measure the variation of our data value. So measures of uh, variation. Um, so what do I mean by measures of variation or measures of spread? Uh, so we're gonna try to describe, you know, we have your data values, you have your, you have your numbers, right? We know how to compute the mean, you know, uh, we know how to compute the, the average in general, right? But now we're gonna try uh, to describe how uh, similar or varied the, the set of the data values, okay? so. Uh, the idea here, so I'm going to first try to explain the idea, right? So the measures of uh, spread or of uh, variation. So the, the idea here is, so we're going to try to describe. So we are going to describe uh, how, uh, how similar or uh, varied, okay, the set of, uh, the set of uh, uh, data values are, okay. Um, so for example, um, so for example, So let's say we have a first data set or first data values, first data set, okay? So let's say we have five numbers, okay? So I'm gonna take one, two, uh, 20, uh, 38, and 39, okay? And I'm gonna take a second data set Okay, and I'm gonna take, again, five numbers. And this time uh, I'm gonna have like 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22, okay? So, so the, 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 these two data sets, they have something in common. Uh, so the, 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 if you compute the mean of the first data set, so we, we have the same numbers, um, same uh, number of data values. We have uh, five, five da data values in each uh, data set, right? So the, the mean of the first of the first data set, uh, you know, that's our x bar. So what will be the mean of the first data set? So we have like one plus two plus twenty uh, plus uh, thirty eight uh, plus thirty nine over uh, five. Right? So if you do the top, if you compute the top, so one plus two plus 20 uh, plus 38 plus 39, that will be actually 100 over five. So the mean, uh, the mean of the first data set is actually uh, 20. Okay, the mean of the first uh, data set. Now, what about the second data, data set? Well, the second data set actually is gonna have the same mean. So if you compute the mean of the second uh, data set, right, uh, which is X bar. All right, so we have like 18 plus 19 plus 20 uh, plus 21 plus 22 over five, right? So then the top would be, I mean, if you do 18 plus 19 plus 20 plus 21 plus 22, that will be again, 100 over five, okay? So then X bar is gonna be 20. So the mean of the second set, is, it's also 20, right? Right, so what, 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 what we are saying here, guys, so we have these two data sets, okay? They have the same mean. But as you can see, I mean, if you, if you compare the two data sets, I mean, as you can see that the first, uh, 
the first data set is more uh, dispersed, right? It has more variation than the second uh, data set. You see in the second data set, the numbers are kind of uh, close to each other. I mean, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, they are uh, very close, right? Uh, and that's completely different from the first data set. In the first data set, it's, you know, uh, it's like, uh, you know, you start with one, and then you end up with 39, right? And so the numbers in the first data set, they, are, they, the, they, are, they, ha they have more variation, right? They are more dispersed, okay? The, but the, the problem here, the, the both data sets, they have the same mean, right? They have the same mean, but the thing is the first data set is more dispersed than the second, right? So we cannot really use the mean to describe, you know, uh, how you know how much the, the values differ or uh, how much the values are uh, close to each other, right? So the idea here is so the, the, the so the, the the two data sets, the two uh, data sets have they actually have the same mean, the same mean average x bar however right the first uh data set is uh more dispersed okay and or, what do you mean it's more dispersed what does that mean well i mean like the the, the, the compared to the second one you see the second one is more constant, like the, the numbers 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, they are close to each, each other, right? Like the difference between 18 and 22 is like four, right? Like, yeah. you know, be, between 18, like the smallest number and the largest number, 18 and 22, the difference is like four, right? The, the, for the first data set, like the smallest number is one, the largest number is 39. So the difference between the smallest and the largest is like 38, right? Oh, so wow. It's like, you know, so the, the first, the second data set is like more constant. They are, the numbers are very close uh, to each other. Like the 18 is very close to 19, close to the 20, 21, 22, right? But then the first data set is, is like you go from one to 39. That's a big, uh, you know, that's like a big jump, right? It's not like from 18 to 22. From 18, 22, that's just the difference is four. From one to thirty-nine is like the difference, is like thirty-eight. That's a lot, right? Okay. That's that's what I mean. So the the second data set is like it's it's more constant. We say it's more constant, and the first is more dispersed. Um. um yeah. So the yeah uh, first data set is more dispersed or has more let's say more vari variation has more variation. So in other words, what I mean is like the difference like. Difference between the smallest, between the smallest and the largest, uh, data values is kind of um, is kind of uh, large, is is large compared to the compared to the second set, second data set, okay? Um, so, yeah, so what we're gonna do, uh, so with these measures of spread, we're gonna show how much the values uh, differ from, uh, from each other, okay? Or uh, how much the values differ from the mean. Um, so, uh, so the, the goal here, so we're gonna, so we are going to, um, uh, measure the spread of the data. of the data values, the spread of the data values, and uh, 
compared to the compared to the mean. So let me just say here, guys. Uh, you know, and this is this is this is this is a kind of a good example because you know the mean for both data sets is uh, twenty, right? We said that the mean it's twenty, right, for both. So if you take like the second uh, set, you have like 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So all the numbers, like all the data values in the second set, they are very close to 20, right? Compared to 20, like if you take 18 compared to 20, it's very close, right? It's not that, it's not that far from 20, right? 18, the difference between 18 and 20 is just two. So the numbers or the data values in the second set, they are kind of very close to, uh, to the mean. Now, the, the first set, first data set, uh, if you take the mean, the mean is 20, right? Uh, but if you compare like one, which is the first data value, right? You compare the one to the, to the mean, which is 20, uh, you can see they are kind of very different, right? Um, um, so of course it's one, it's not really close to 20, right? Compared to the 18. So the idea here, guys, I mean, with the mean, um, so if you have your mean and you have your data values, so when you pick a random data value, so what you, what you expect as a value is the mean. So the mean, like uh, roughly speaking, the mean is like the, the, the expected value uh, of, your, of your data set. So if you pick any or random data value, so the, the value you expect is the mean, okay? And as I said, like in these two data sets, if you, uh, if you take any data, uh, random data value in the second uh, data set, then the data value, it's not really different. It's not, it's kind of very close to the mean. Uh, and that's different from the first data set, right? Uh, uh, if you take so, a random, if you take a random data value in this first data, data set, for example, two, that's very different from the mean. Anyway, so, so the, like the big the idea mean is twenty. The the mean is twenty because it's repeated in both sets. That's why the mean is twenty because uh, that's what we uh, computed, right? I mean, uh, the mean we, we know how to compute the mean, right? The mean is supposed to be the sum of mm -hmm. all data values divided by the um, the number of the data values, right? That's our formula for the mean. That's how we compute the mean, right? And but in the both cases, the mean is twenty. Right when we when we do the one plus two plus twenty plus thirty eight plus thirty nine divided by five because we have five numbers, uh, we got twenty. And the same thing for the second data. Yes. Um. So let's say uh, after you compute the mean, um, on this I'm, I'm measuring the variation. Let's say the mean would have been two different numbers. What happens then? No, that's another problem. That's another question. Okay. So, no, but so here, what I'm doing is just, uh, I'm trying to, what I'm try trying to tell you here is that the mean, it's not really useful if you wanna compare like the spread of two data sets uh, or the variation of two data sets. So we have, I have these two data sets, they have the same mean, but, but as you can see, one data set is more dispersed than the other one, okay? So that's what I'm saying here in this example. So the mean is not the right, it's not the right uh, thing we use to, you know, to describe, uh, you know, how much the, the values differ from each other, okay? So that's what I'm trying to say here. Uh, we didn't compute any, uh, we didn't, I mean, uh, we'll see like uh, probably tomorrow, uh, we're gonna have like, uh, you know, uh, the standard deviation, the variance, there's a range, so there are different ways actually to measure this, the, the spread of the data. So we see that tomorrow anyway. But, but anyway, so the, here in this example, I'm just trying to explain the, the, you know, the idea, okay? So yeah, so what I'm saying is, so we know how to compute the mean and both cases, the mean is 20. However, as you can see, the first data set is more dispersed. So the second one is more constant. So the goal is we are going to measure the spread of the data compared to the mean. And um, as I said, so the, in general, so in general, the mean, 
is uh, the expected. That's what you expect when you pick a random uh, data value. Is, is the expected value of uh, a random uh, data random data value, right? Uh, and as I said, this example, uh, with this example, as you can see, so the mean is not, um, it's not really useful to, it's not useful to, um, to measure the spread of the data values. Okay. Um, um, so yeah, so, and as I said, so the, here in this case, in this, in this example, uh, the first, so in this uh, example, so both data sets, they have the same mean. However, the first data set is more dispersed, has more uh, uh, variation, right? And the second set, the uh, second data set is more uh, constant. Um, I probably wrote that. Yeah. Is there any question, guys, about the idea here? Uh, so you, you see what I mean by the spread of the data, right? So the, it's, the idea is to see if the numbers are, the, the, the data values are kind of, are, are they like close, you know, to each other or uh, they are really, uh, they are really dispersed, okay? Because uh, how we got the how was it twenty though? Because you you did uh, something with the lower number and the higher number, and then you divided it, and that's how you got the twenty. Oh, the twenty? No, that's the, the mean. So the uh, the mean uh, the, that's how we compute the mean. The mean is you take the sum of the the data values, right? You take one plus two plus twenty plus thirty eight plus thirty nine, mm -hmm. right? The sum of the data values that will be one hundred. So in this case, uh, and then you divide by the number of data values. We, oh. have, uh, we have five numbers, right? We have five numbers, so that's uh, 100 by five, that's uh, 20. That's how I got the 20. The same thing for number for the second data set, right? The 18 plus 18 plus 19 plus 20, 21, 22, that's again 100. So you see, that's the thing. In both cases, we get like 100 over five, in both cases. We have different numbers, of course. Right, but still we have the same mean, right? Okay. And that's how we compute the mean in general. Uh, um, uh, yeah, so, uh, so yeah, so the goal now is to, so the goal or probably tomorrow, so next. So we're gonna study different ways to measure. So we are going to study to study um, different ways uh, to measure the spread of the data, right? Because uh, the mean, turns out the mean is not very really good to, to measure the spread of the, of the data, the spread of the data values. Okay, how much time do you have? You have one minute, okay. Um, you know what, guys, uh, I'm, I'm gonna stop here because um, next, uh, we're gonna have the like the we're gonna study the the variation, uh, the standard deviation. We're gonna study the range. You know different ways to measure the uh, spread of uh, the data values. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna stop here. Okay, and then uh, tomorrow we're gonna we're gonna continue with this. All right. So uh, thank you for listening, guys, and um, hopefully I'm gonna see you tomorrow. Professor, can I just ask you one question? Yes, please. Yeah. I'm All right, I'm sorry, because in the, in the beginning of class, you had told me the width was